In today's cartoon story joke, we bring you a tale about fishing. Is fishing and business so different? Today, we try to answer these questions and end in a hilarious reality. Ah, fishing. A time-honored tradition of early mornings, questionable bait choices, and enough existential dread to rival a board meeting on a Monday. But hold your horses, or should we say, bait your hooks, because beneath the surface of this seemingly serene activity lurks a gold mine of metaphors for the chaotic world of business. That's right, folks. Grab your metaphorical tackle boxes, because we're about to reel in some hilarious and surprisingly apt comparisons between fishing and the cutthroat game of getting ahead. The first lesson in fishing and business is that preparation is key, unless you like the taste of defeat. Let's face it, nobody enjoys staring at a motionless bobber for hours. You got to be prepared. You research the best spots, the kind of bait the finicky fish are craving, worms, minnows, maybe a tiny disco ball, and ensure your rod and reel can handle the fight. Because let's be honest, a business with a faulty printer during a presentation is about as effective as using a pool noodle for a fishing rod. Similarly, in business, failing to plan is planning to fail. Market research becomes your bait selection. A solid business plan is your trusty fishing rod and a well-equipped team, your tackle box. Just like overestimating the size of a fish by the bobber's movement, underestimating the competition can lead to a rude awakening. Be prepared, people, or you might just end up with a mouthful of metaphorical minnow and a bruised ego. The second lesson in fishing and business is that patience is a virtue, especially when you're dealing with a stubborn CEO. Fishing is a masterclass in patience. You cast your line, wait, and maybe wait some more. Fight the urge to check your social media every two seconds, and then, bam, a tug. But even then, it might be a pesky catfish or a rogue sandal, not the prize-winning marlin you envisioned. Business is no different. Building a successful company takes time, perseverance, and the ability to weather storms, both literal and metaphorical, looking at you, Karen, from accounting. Don't expect overnight success, and don't get discouraged if that big client you've been chasing throws you back like a used bait fish. Keep casting your line, refine your approach, and eventually, you'll reel in the rewards. The third lesson is to embrace the unexpected, because Murphy's Law applies everywhere. Just when you think you've got the perfect cast, a rogue squirrel snatches your hat, because apparently, squirrels are jerks. Or a flock of geese decides your bobber is a worthy opponent in a synchronized swimming competition. Fishing is a constant exercise in adaptability. You got to roll with the punches, improvise new bait presentation methods, duct taped hat as lure, anyone, and laugh at the absurdity of it all. The business world is a masterclass in the unexpected. Clients change their minds faster than a fish changes direction. The market takes a nosedive for seemingly no reason, and your competitor suddenly starts offering free lifetime supplies of pizza with every purchase. Seriously, who even does that? The key is to stay flexible, think on your feet, and maybe invest in some squirrel-proof headwear. The fourth lesson is that teamwork makes the dream work, unless your teammate keeps stealing your worms. Let's be honest, wrangling a giant tuna is a two-person job, unless you're Popeye with superhuman spinach-fueled strength. You need a buddy to help you net the catch, celebrate the victory, or commiserate the loss, and maybe even share the questionable fish puns that inevitably come with the territory. Business thrives on collaboration. A strong team with diverse skill sets can overcome any obstacle, navigate treacherous market currents, and even deal with the office know-it-all who keeps stealing your best ideas. We see you, Steve, from marketing. Remember, a lone fisherman might be good, but a team of passionate professionals is an unstoppable force, assuming they share the worms. The last lesson is that you must respect the catch and maybe throw it back sometimes. There's a certain nobility to the act of fishing. You appreciate the beauty and power of nature, the delicate balance of the ecosystem, 
and the importance of responsible practices, like catch and release, because nobody wants a fish that's been sunbathing for hours. Similarly, in business, it's important to be mindful of the impact you have. Sustainable practices, ethical treatment of employees and clients, and a focus on giving back to the community are all crucial aspects of long-term success. After all, a company that pillages resources and leaves nothing but destruction in its wake won't last much longer than a bait shop during a zombie apocalypse. All right, all right, let's skip to the best part, the joke. A successful businessman on vacation was at the pier of a small coastal village when a small boat with just one fisherman docked. Inside the small boat were several large yellowfin tunas. The businessman complimented the fisherman on the quality of his fish and asked how long it took to catch them. The fisherman proudly replied, Every morning, I go out in my boat for 30 minutes to fish. I'm the best fisherman in the village. The businessman, perplexed, then asks the fisherman, If you're the best, why don't you stay out longer and catch more fish? What do you do the rest of the day? The fisherman replied, I sleep late, fish a little, play with my children, spend quality time with my wife, and every evening we stroll into the village to drink wine and play guitar with our friends. I have a full and happy life. The businessman scoffed, I am a successful CEO and have a talent for spotting business opportunities. I can help you be more successful. You should spend more time fishing and, with the proceeds, buy a bigger boat. With the proceeds from the bigger boat, you could buy several boats. Eventually, you would have a fleet of fishing boats with many fishermen. Instead of selling your catch to just your friends, you can scale fishing to thousands. You could leave this small coastal fishing village and move to the big city, where you can oversee your growing empire. The fisherman asked, but how long will this all take? To which the businessman replied, 15 to 20 years. But what then? Asked the fisherman. The businessman laughed and said, that's the best part. When the time is right, you would announce an IPO, sell your company stock to the public and become very rich. You would make millions. Millions. Then what? The businessman said, then you would retire, move to a small coastal fishing village where you would sleep late, fish a little, play with your kids, spend time with your wife, stroll to the village in the evenings where you could sip wine and play your guitar with your friends. The fisherman replied, I have all of this right now. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>